Frederick Fleet was an honest man, and we must trust his word. For when he told the story, some say it was absurd, and I will tell it once again to clear up any doubt. The night Titanic hit the ice when he was on the lookout. It was the most beautiful night, the best he'd ever seen. The stars were like the shining lamps, the sea the darkest green. It was just after seven bells, eleven thirty to be precise. But from the lookout he and me, they then first saw the ice. The black mass was dead ahead, arising out the sea. They saw it looming up ahead, said Lee, what can it be? The warning bell three times was rung, and then the bridge fall along. To warn the duty officers, and save the ship from harm. First officer William Murdoch on the bridge acted with haste. He barked a hard a starboard to miss the dangerous place. He could not turn her fast enough. His efforts were in vain. The spurs and ledges of the berg returned from bow to stern. To stop a plate pulled below the waterline, and so began the sinking of the pride of the White Star Line in those cold Atlantic waters and the darkness of the sky. So many helpless passengers were all condemned to die. Sixteen thousand tons of water filled the ship within the hour. The boilermen and stokers did everything within their power to keep the lights a burning so that nearby ships might see and make the way to the foundry ship. But it was not to be to make the way to the foundry ship. But it was not to be.